Greetings, good evening, good Friday evening. Once again, we are here in the kitchen doing some quarantine cooking. Uh, it is me, Badawi, uh, from Eater Food. Uh, you might know my voice from Mhm, mm and you would have seen my face. Well, if it is tuned into the channel, uh, here and there popping up, and we're definitely on these quarantine cooking sessions. Um, so yes, yeah, Friday evening, and all you know, all you know, where it is Friday evening is some kind of street food type cutters type something we're doing. Um, but before I jump into it, just you know, hit me up in the chat. Let me know, you know, everything is everything. Make sure they hear me and thing. And while I'm waiting for people to come in the chat, I shall pour myself a drink. Now, I know how to say cutters and cocktails and cutters. I'm not doing a cocktail today. Today, I'm just doing a. I'm just drinking something straight. So, let me get my drink of choice. This evening, I'm feeling to deal with a little. Hello, 15. Yeah. Crack the seal on this. I'm sorry, but I do um, do this thing for the spirits thing, so uh, I will not be pouring out any. But yeah, hit me up in the chat, let me know all the hair and man thing. I don't see no action in the chat, so just let me know all the hair and man everything in the chat while I pour myself uh, something. I think not good there. Feeling to go, I'm going neat this evening. No ice, so neat. Yeah, cheers to another Friday. Hey Michelle, what's going on? Nice. So yeah, man. So cheers. Another Friday. Mm-hmm. Nice. It's back. So I'm doing a, um, a little saltfish acro this evening. Alright, and big up everybody in the chat. Uh, if it's the first time coming to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and um, show us some love there on the subscribe side of things. Um, yeah, so as the title of the video says, if you watch the title, read the title, I'm doing some Accra, saltfish Accra, and I have a link to the recipe on our website in the video description so um, anybody who asking for a recipe you can find it there on the website I'm not following the recipe that I have on the, web the website right now because that is to make a certain amount of acra and right now I'm just making a little bit because I know I'm not feeling the marish and the parish right about now it's just me here at the moment so I'm gonna undo uh, Small quant small quantity. So I kinda I guess I could say I'm winging it. So yes, I am winging it. So do not follow the directions that are given here if you want to make this yourself. If you want to make this yourself and you never made acra before, um, I would advise that you check out the link in the description to see how to make acra. Alright. Boom boom curry crab, what's going on? Right, so here what's going on? Lama. Let's see what we have happening here. All right, so we have a little bit of flour here. I have some uh, what pepper is this again? Jalapeno. I have some jalapeno here, garlic, onion. I have my saltfish that I boil and um, boil out the salt. You know, you wanna, I mean, it's saltfish, so you definitely wanna rinse it out and wash out some of that salt, else your acro will be too salty. I have some fresh herbs here. Yeah. There's some little odds and ends that I had, a little sive and a little whatever, whatever. Cut up some dill and thing, shadow benny. So a little thing chop up here. I have baking powder, a little bit of yeast, 
and I have some salt and black pepper and some water. So, um, like I know some people just make Accra kind of real um, doughy. But the way I like to make Accra is more kind of like light. I like my Accra kind of light and airy. So I'm going for that kind of Accra, more kind of fluffy style. But here I was thinking, right here I was thinking, oh yeah, here, here, here I was thinking, here I was thinking. I was um, kind of walking through the steps in my head, all right, I need this, I need that, I need whatever, whatever to make the Accra. But then I, re I remember that I have some um, grind up dal in the fridge dinner. Because I was doing some recipe testing for dal puri uh, for the past week or so. And I remember I had a dal grind up there. So I'm thinking, right, if I add some grind up dal to this batter, how will it come out? All they know, all they know it is, all they know it is, all they know when I'm in the kitchen here is experimentation going on. I, I, I don't like to stick to one thing too much. I like to, you know, as a as it come up, as it pop in my head, let me try it. We experiment and I saw cooking us go. And I saw you to stumble upon new recipes and things. So I had the dal in the fridge grind up. I feel I want to add some to this batter and just see what it do now. You understand? See, see if we could get a kind of kachori, a kachori akra going on now. So I'm going to go for the dal. Hold on one second. Right, so as you can see, I have my dal here. Grind up, whole heap of dal. Yeah, I just keep every, I just, I just eat real yogurt. So I just keep all um, my stuff in these yogurt containers. There's no promo. I find they should give me money though, or give me product or something. Yeah, la like yogurt, I just really eat this. Oh yeah, come now, man. Link me. But yeah. Um, Dal, grind up there, and as you can see, it have, you know, I'm a jeera and I have a um, hot pepper and things. So it's a, it's, a, it's a nice, spicy, flavorful um, dal for dal puri going on there. I want to mix some of this in the flour, mix it up in the butter, and see see what it produces. So, you know, you go see what happened, no? you go see what happened. Let me just show, let me just check out the chat here and see what's going on. Right. Yeah, so not Dalpuri Accra, but um more like you know what? It could be closer to like a Apollori Accra. And I stand a Pakra. Uh a Crory. Uh I don't know. Or they come up with a name fit in the chat. But yeah, that, that is the vibes you're going for. So, first things first. I have the Saltfish here yeah, that are boil out and thing. Or they know the drill. You wanna mash this up as fine as possible. So I'm gonna start on that. Just mashing this. You wanna take out the back of your fork and just kinda chip this up. Chip up real fine because you want that to evenly distribute into the batter. You don't want um, you have an acra and it's more flour than salt fish. You understand? You need a, I find for me a good acra is, you know, a right balance, uh, you know, the, the flour, which, well, which will make up the batter and then the salt fish kind of just permeating through that whole thing. I, I, I mean, a doughy acra has its place, depending on how you're gonna use it. But growing up, um, my mother, I always used to eat, eat acra with bake. And I remember, um, I think, I think it was Ronaldo. First time I tell Ronaldo about bake and acra, he was like, "Jared, how you can eat a heavy bake and a heavy acra?" Until he see how I just make acra. I just make acra how my mother used to make it, real light, real airy, like a real fritter. So. Eating it with like bake or in a bread or something wasn't weird because it was not heavy at all. It was a real light um, acra that she used to make. And well, I just make mine the same way. So, uh, 
See, we chipping up here, we chipping, chipping, like it's juve. Chipping. Mm. I think we're good there. If you want to go for a finer chip, by all means, go for a finer chip. So, now we're going to start to mix this up and thing one time, right? So, over to the flour here. Um, you want to mix your dry ingredients first. So, I'm going in with the yeast. Going in with the baking powder. I'm going to throw a black pepper one time. I have some salt here, but I don't think I need salt because um, I don't like to overboil my salt fish. I know some people just boil all the salt out of the salt fish and then add back salt. To me, like that ain't making no sense. Shit. It's like, why are you gonna remove all the salt to put back in salt? So I just kind of boil it just enough until it reached the desired uh, saltiness. So I'm a garlic here. When you're doing this, you really want to make sure that you chop these things fine. You really, you really want like chunks, big chunks of things happening inside it. So you want to go for a fine dice or mince. I'm a jalapeno. This could be spicy. We are spicy acra. I leave the seeds in and everything. Alright, we have the onion. Herbs one time. Oh gosh. Alright. And then. Hmm, how much of this dial to put, boy? Let me see. Can I eyeball in it here? I think that should be enough there. Mm hmm. I'm gonna add the salt fish. It's a little crazy experiment we're doing here. If it come out good, then it come out good. If it didn't come out good, well, it didn't come out good. Small thing. I go eat it the same way. All right, just gonna mix this up. And now, I'm gonna add some water. Remember, we're going for a, a batter. So, I will add a, I ain't gonna add all one time. Let's add a little bit. Incorporate it. Alright, we need some more water. I think I might need more water than this. I add about three quarter cups of water here. And one cup of flour. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Just a little bit. Mix that up. I feel it will taste good. I hopeful, I hopeful. I feel it would taste good. This one be a lighter. Right. And now make sure this well combined. Colorful tuna. Watch that. Nice colors happening there. It's smelling real good. I'm gonna like. Mm -hmm. I hopeful, I hopeful. You go see you go see what going on. Right. And now um you don't wanna use this one time. You'll you only leave this for a couple minutes later. I'm um, just gonna stand a little bit before we start the fry. So in the meantime, I'm gonna put my oil on. And I ain't using too much oil here. Nah. I'm using a little bit of oil. I didn't want to go too crazy and deep fry it. So I'm using the wok, yes, to get a deep fry kind of action. But um, I'm not using plenty of oil. So, it's more, it's, you could call it a shallow fry, but because of the shape of the wok, 
um, you will get a better fry than if it was a flat pot. So I would say use a wok if you have one or a wrong bottom pot. If you don't want to use plenty of oil, it's a good way to still get a little bit of depth without having to use a whole set of oil. I didn't um, buy a lot of oil when I went in the grocery. So I kind of conserve in the oil that I have for future use. If we need more, I'll put more, but let me see how this goes for now. All right, so let me check all out there in the chat while we wait on this thing and see what's going on. Mm. All right, here, let me take a, a gander at the chat here. Nice. All right. Hoover in the house, boy, Debbie Marchand. All right, Shalene, Trinity Trini, point fourteen in the house. That's what we talking about. Yeah. Um, Gary, it is salted cod. Um, actually, you know what? Let me, let me, let me verify. Hold on, let me get it back. So this says, hmm, it just says imported salted fish, doesn't say what type of fish, I know some of them would say cod or maybe pollock, uh, but this doesn't say, but usually it's, it's cod or no, so this is the one I'm using, um, the boneless bits. And it does not say on the packaging what type of fish it is, but as I, as I mentioned, usually it is cod that they use. Or sometimes I would see pollock on the uh, packaging as well. So I am. For argument's sake, let's say it's cod. All right. My flame going in and one deep. Oil just had a smoke, so I'm just gonna load that down and let it go low. Cheers again, if all in our reach. I have an L, Eldo 15, neat. Right. So, um, just to recap, if all in our joining, I'm doing salt fish. I'm a batter here. But what I do is I add some um, dal. I add some grind of dal from some dal puri that I was testing, dal puri recipe. So I add some grind of dal to the batter. I'll experiment. Let me see how it go. Hopefully, it'll, it'll turn out well. So, a couple more minutes for this to sit. And then I think we'll be ready for frying. I think the oil, the oil definitely ready. Feeling that heat coming off there. So, let me I'll switch to walk, walk view one time. So you can get a nice close up of what it is happening in the walk. And um, I guess we could test with one. Go we'll, we'll through the other test. I want to make them too big and I'm not making them too small. I want them kind of medium size. Huh? So, let me see what goes on. And all you know, the, the, if all you had watched my other videos with frying, all you know, the, the, the golden rule is to, when you're shallow frying, it's kind of bead the top side of wherever it is you're frying. So that while the bottom cooking, the top cooking as well. So that is a nice little tip. And as you can see it puffing up nicely. Nice. Give it a flip one time. And you don't want your oil to, to be too hot because you don't want it to 
burn and not cook through now. Remember, this is a, a, a batter, and you don't want that when you, you open it up. It's because it's looking like it cooked on the outside, but then it raw on the inside. So make sure that your oil is at the right temperature, not smoking, not too hot. So you get a nice fry. And because I'm not using a lot of oil, I can kind of fry these one at a time, maybe two at a time, but I think if I go one at a time, it'll be good. And Jennifer, let's smell this side of Smelling all the seasonings, it's smelling that garlic, it's smelling the onion, the um, pepper. Okay. Definitely, this is going to be a nice flavorful apple. I can't wait to see what the, the dal do inside there too, Jed. I figure the dal, the dal is a nice touch. So you see what happened in here. Make sure it's drain proper. This don't take long to cook at all. They fall their custom frying acro. You know, it's like a minute, a little over a minute to fry acro. Again, once it's not like a huge one. So look how look at how we look in there. Uh, wait, wait, mom. All right, watch that. Let's see seeing that. Nice. So I'm gonna like cool, and now can I rip it open and all you can see the inside. So we go again. And the next one. And don't worry if your acra and come out the same shape and size and all them kind of thing. That is the nature of Accra. Accra does be, you know, it's each, each one is a surprise now. In terms of the size and thing, each one have its own unique identity, like a snowflake. All right, flip him, continue to bathe. Again, and in the meantime, actually, no, let me do this. I'm gonna take my eyes off the price. This this kind of frying process, you really don't want to take your eyes off the price, you really don't want to get too distracted. I was gonna try and show the next one, but now nah, let me do that. I feel like we are a mistake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep focused there, and then we could get into checking out what we get. Shall we let him, or shall we look in there? So let drain, let the excess oil drain out. Nice. Still hot, right? This is still real hot. But let me open this up while well, you can see. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot, it's hot. Well, let's see what's going on there. Cook through. Seeing the um, aromatics onion, garlic, pepper. Nice and flavorful. And again, I hinted the dal there. It's not heavy. I didn't go crazy with the dal. So again, a little specks of the dal inside there. All right. Nice. I'm going to get all the taste. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ma'am. It's flavorful. And so I thought, it's like, 
a blend between Kachori and Accra. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice thing. And the good thing about doing like a batter like this, right? If you find like you taste the first one and you need to adjust it, you can adjust it. If you, if you think it need to be more stiff, you can add a little more flour. If you think it need to be more loose, you add a little bit more water. If you need you think it needs seasoning, you can add your seasonings to, as desired. But yeah, that's the beauty about doing acra. Is that you don't once you start, you don't have to commit to one thing. No. You can always tweak as you go and perfect it as you're frying. So that's a real good thing about I find about making acra. But um tasting this, we real good to go here, Jen. Real good to go. Real good. I think I'm gonna um, make a little tambourine sauce to go with this after when I lock off. I'm going to sit down and just eat a few of these with some tambourine and we will be in a proper gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. Queens in the house, nice. Yeah, yeah, Gary, the, the dial in it, the dial in it working. Hey, St. James in the house, St. James, good night, good night. So, we, we have something going on here, man. Huh. It's working good. Leave on. Where's the scene? Thanks, brother. Thanks, Clevon. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. So, yeah, all there. I mean, hey, Montreal in the house. What's going on, Terry? Big up Montreal. Well, let's see how easy that was to put together, Jet. I mean, Accra. And I don't know if you all got a chance to read the. Uh, pantry essentials blog post that I did but I did, did have saltfish as one of those items that I think um, in this uh, lockdown slash quarantine season I know a lot of people was asking questions about you know like what's the type of foods that you think I should stock up on and thing I think um, saltfish is something people might overlook as a item that could give you a you know, long shelf life because you could buy it and leave it in your freezer for a while. And um, it's versatile. So, you know, if it's your bull jaw you're making, you could do that. Um, you could do acra like we're doing here. Or you could even, well, um, okra and rice with saltfish. Um, saltfish um, stewed on with dumpling. And even if you want to do like crab cakes, like how they would do crab cakes, um, a kind of, I guess, Americanized recipe. You could substitute the crab meat for saltfish and make it the same way. You could bake it and that kind of thing if you don't want to use oil. Yeah, so saltfish, I think, is a real versatile product that you could use um, in this in this time to really get some bang for your buck. I'm going to fry up the rest of these. So, and remember the, always remember the bathing technique. As the bottom frying, you want the top to cook as well. That way, you know, you fritter, because I mean, Accra is a fritter, um, cooks evenly. While the bottom cooking, the top cooking. And as the top cooks, I would say like 30 seconds to 40 seconds in. You can go ahead and flip. And then continue to bathe as I like to see. 
the other side. Come in front for your blessings. Yeah? And I mean, that is just an all I, I I know usually, usually on a Friday night, if, you know, for those who are custom joining, we just go long. Sometimes just be like over an hour, two hours sometimes. We just be going the distance. But I say tonight, well, I started late and I wanted to do something that was simple enough and quick enough to do. Because I, I don't want to stay whole night doing this, to be quite honest. I don't want to fry up a few, go and rock back, probably watch some YouTube videos or something, or just kind of relax, chill. And I know people are going to say, why are you eating Accra this hour of the night? But think about it, if all of us lying on the avenue, right? Drinking and having a time on a Friday night, if all of us out before lockdown. Yeah, all they know is gyro, hot dog, burger, all they go in same thing, so roti, eating KFC. It's all kind of thing you're going to be eating this hour. Wendy's. So yeah, no judgment, no judgment. I'm going to eat two acre in, in peace. Huh? I'm going to eat two acre in peace. Don't judge, don't judge the youth, don't judge the youth. Yeah, Michelle, I think, um, you know what? I figure the, the real thing for this, the real, the, the real drink, if I had to choose a drink to really pair with this, I would say a nice beer. A nice um, light beer. When I say light beer, like crisp, man. I don't mean light beer, like light beer. Although if light beer is your flick, then no scene. But a nice crisp beer man, will go down good with this acra. A little tambran sauce. Um, we could do as well. But I, I like to do something that um, actually I learned from Quincy is cut them, slice it, and put like fresh cucumber and fresh tomato inside there and do like a sandwich. You know? That just be nice too. That just be real nice. It's be like a little acra sandwich. You know? So yeah. Gonna, um, we have these here. I'm gonna fry up the rest of them and yeah, call that at night. Yeah, mango chutney. I mean a crisp beer, I mean a crisp, a light tasting. Not like a heavy beer, not like a Guinness, not like a stout or an IPA or, you know, something like that. Or, you know, that kind of thing. Now. More like, um, I we say like a Heineken or a Stella or a stag, carib, you know? So I, will, I, will, I consider that light beers now because I just drink Guinness. Um, Guinness is more on the heavy side for me. So when I say a light beer, I mean something more crisp. Man. Not, you know, not bold in flavor. So I didn't mean like, uh, like a Heineken light or that kind of thing. But again, if you like Heineken light and that's where you just drink, nothing wrong with that, Tread. Nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that. Sometimes I sometimes I'm not feeling to, you know, feel all the big all that bloatiness and thing you get from a beer sometimes. I go drink a light beer. I go drink a a, a, a carib light normal. I go drink a stag light normal. Heineken light. Don't judge me. Feeling it. I feeling all the judging me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Alright. So Right, yeah, Corona, yeah, a Corona is a, a Corona is a nice beer to enjoy with this. Right, so as I said before, um, this was a simple thing. The recipe is in the link in the description. Um, I added some dal to this, some grind up dal. It was a little experiment, and I find it working. So if all you want to experiment with that, feel free. Um, if all you do, please, of course post some pictures on Instagram and tag us so we could reshare and that kind of thing. And as always, thanks for joining me, you know. Um, it would have just been me talking to myself, but all you hear in the chat, and we lime in Friday evening, always appreciative. So thanks again for joining me. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And look out for so Thursday gone, we launched the Table 34 and uh, I don't know if 
many of you who in the chat now got to um, check out the Table 34 thing, but Table 34 is some new content that we're doing. It's not cooking. We're not cooking, but we're talking about food. And it's a line. So, there's a few people. We have a panel. And we are inviting guests to come on and join the talk and that kind of thing. So, we'll be having the next one next week, Thursday, at 7 p.m. So, look out for that. I will post an update um, closer to the time so that he'll be reminded. But, um, yeah, look out for that. And we're doing it in two segments. So, we have our official segment where... Um, we will talk officially and kind of go through the final points of what we're talking about and then we will have a more kind of laid back what we call it the after party and if people want to get into real raps and that kind of thing that that one we're doing live but we're not recording it so if anybody was looking at the live that we did on Thursday we had another session after the um, official session but as you can see it not found anywhere on the channel because that is literally just for who there who there now at the time in the moment we talk, we have fun wherever, we bring in people from the chat or come in, talk, line with we, that kind of thing. It's that kind of thing. It's a more, more interactive type of um, show that we're doing. So look out for that. And of course, I will be posting new episodes of mm -hmm, as well as some new content coming to the channel this week. So look out for that as well. And yeah, again, thanks for checking out this live and all well, stay safe i will see you all there soon all right take care enjoy all the weekend later